Hey guys. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what to do when you get injured. I get a lot of questions about um, ice and Advil and what to do when you trip or twist an ankle or your knee hurts. And um, there's a lot of confusion about injuries and the treatment for them. So heat is a great thing to do on a muscle that's been spasming, a muscle that's been hurt. You want to use heat, moist heat. So um, there's a couple of things you can do. I actually made this. I took some fabric and I filled it with uh, rice and I sewed the edges up and I put some Velcro on it and I made this little sack. Rice is a great way to keep heat because it's uh, I think rice is like 90% water or something like that so it it heats up in the microwave very nicely got this hot pack put it on the site velcro it closed and yes it's camouflage and you've got a nice heat pack that's gonna it's gonna really get into the muscle and really get it nice and supple and hopefully get that muscle spasm to release for you. The other thing you can do, and this is much easier, is to get a tube sock. Maybe your um, husband or your roommate or somebody has a long tube sock, an athletic sock. Get that, fill it about three quarters of the way full with rice and tie it at the end. Just twist it off, tie it. There you have your own little heat sack, okay? So um, a tube sock works just as well as something like this and, um, and that's it. Now, if you have an injury at a joint where two bones come together, you've got a whole other set of problems because what happens then is you get inflammation in the joint and then it makes it very difficult for that joint to move and that's when you feel pain. So <clears throat> the best thing you can do when you have that happen is ice and get the inflammation off the joint. Heat increases inflammation. Ice decreases inflammation. So if you have inflammation in a joint, the natural thing to do is ice it. People want to put heat on because it feels good, but what you really are doing is increasing the inflammation around the joint, which is actually going to make it harder for that joint to move. The old treatment called RICE, it's rest, ice, compression, elevation. So what I like to do is I have a couple ice packs I'll show you. I got them from Terry Bechtel, physical therapy, who I think is amazing. So we've got this big ice pack, and she sells these fantastic handy ice pack holders that have these Velcro straps to help hold it on. So I put my ice pack inside, like so. And you can use ice from your refrigerator, put it in a giant Ziploc baggie and stick it in a um, stick it in a pillowcase. Same thing. I just really like this because I like the Velcro and this is a nice thin fabric and it's soft and it's easy. Alright, so you want to ice it. I also have a narrow one and this is great for the, around the neck. It's great for around the shoulder, around the arm, but I like to put this on the back of my leg. So for me, I have a knee issue. As many of you know, I had surgery not too long ago on my meniscus. And so what I do after a workout, because it's inflamed and it hurts a little bit, is I stick this on the back of my knee and I Velcro it closed. So there's the compression. I raise my leg. There's the elevation. Put the ice pack, the big one on top, get the knee really cold and wrap those Velcro straps around so it holds it in place. Then I can walk around. If someone comes in the gym, I need to answer the phone or whatever. I can move around pretty freely. And now it's on. Can you see that? All right. I hope that was helpful. Have a great time and train safely.